Welcome back to ISF. So when you think of South Florida music, you may think of poppy Latin beats, and no one captures it quite like Alemor. This Colombian-American singer has captivated thousands with her music, and her work is far from over. This two-time Latin Grammy nominee is now in the house. Thank you so much, Alemor. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? I'm excited to be here. I'm and I'm so excited. I'm grateful to be here as well. Oh my gosh, we're so happy you're here. So let's kind of go to the beginning. You were born in Colombia, mm -hmm. but then moved over here. Tell me what your journey in South Florida has been like. It's been great. And I think, uh, I mean, of course, at the beginning, I was 12 when I moved here. So it was a rough transition, I think, as it is when you're 12. Things are weird anyway, no Absolutely. matter where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so that was, that was a, a rough transition when we first moved here, but then I slowly but surely fell in love with the city. Absolutely. So when did you find that love for music and singing? Well, for music, it's been since I was really, really small. Um, I remember being about nine or 10 and surprising myself on how fast I could learn lyrics. Okay. Just read it over a few times and then I could remember them. Um, that was cool. And I would set up, it was kind of like a you know, like a, like a living room like this, mm -hmm. my family would sit and I would stand in the front and I would tell them, okay, the show's gonna start in five minutes and I would have like outfit changes in the bathroom and it was like a whole, a whole production. <laughs> a whole concert yeah, yeah, in the yeah. house. I love, <laughs> I love that. I love that. So kind of define to me, what was kind of like that big break moment that you're like, wow, I can actually, I can do this for a living. I've had a few moments. Uh, the first one was when I was 19 and I remember getting paid for the first time to sing and feeling like, this is so cool, I just got paid to do something that I love to do. And then when I recorded my first album in 2021, and then it was the first nomination, um, that was another moment where I said, okay, this is for real. And then the second album, which we released last year, um, you know, I'm really grateful because it got the second Latin Grammy nomination and my first Grammy nomination, Huge. which is, Insane, like I was not expecting that. It's been such a surreal but beautiful experience. I can't know? imagine, I can't imagine. Yeah. So, you know, listening to your music, I definitely hear like the South Florida vibe. You know, it's so vibrant and it's also very like moody. You can feel a lot of different emotions mm -hmm. listening to your mm -hmm. music. Tell me, how is South Florida, has it really influenced your music? When I first moved to the US, I had never heard R&B before, so when I heard it for the first time, I was like, <gasps> what is this? This is good. <laughs> this, this is, is great. Is good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember listening to Casey and JoJo's All My Life for the first time on the radio. And I was like, I want to, I want to do something like this. Like this is, <laughs> this is something that I, that I love. And, yeah. and, and the, I feel that has influenced a lot of my music. Um, and it's been, I feel very privileged because I was exposed to a completely different type of music when I was in Colombia and then moving here and being able to like fuse those two things, not just for the sake of combining the two genres or, or different genres, but because it was an actual part of my experience mm -hmm. and it's, it actually comes authentically to me. Um, I think it's great. And I think anyone that has moved from one country to, to another has that you have the little bit of here and a little bit of there and then being Absolutely. able to mix it together and create your own, I think is, is very special. That's a beautiful melting pot, a lot like mm -hmm. what South Florida is based on, you Absolutely. know? And you just came back from the Grammys. I mean, how was just that whole experience? You're a South Florida girl, so I feel like, you know, <laughs> you're like, uh, you think about that stuff and then now you're there? Yeah. It's crazy. It was, it was surreal. It was insane. Yeah. I was just, I just remember, I mean, my husband was with me who's also, um, an amazing musician, my producer, my manager, he's, he's everything. Oh. And we were walking down that, that red carpet we had just gotten there and he's like, he like brings me down to earth and he's like, hey, look around, you know, he's like, look at where you are. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, because you, you can get lost in the, in the little things of the day and of not really see the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like to do that exercise of like, really seeing where I'm at and like looking down at my feet like okay I'm here this is what's going on this is how far we've come in in our music in our career um but he is a great reminder of that or every once in a while and especially in those moments he'll like grab me and like hey look at where you are look at what you've accomplished look at look how far you've come and it's like it feels like such a full circle it is I, re I remember 
I remember um, performing there at that same auditorium when I was in high school because I went to New World School of the Arts uh -huh. and we had like a Hispanic Heritage Show performance. So we had it there and I was like, I don't know, 16 or 15 when, we, when I did it. Wow. Um, and now here I am many years later and giving back again to the community and visiting that auditorium again and, and performing there again feels... Uh, it, I don't know, it's like a warm and fuzzy feeling. It feels amazing. It feels like I've, you know, like we've built this platform where now I can give back. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. It's I, great. I am so excited mm -hmm. for it. I know you're going to be so excited for it, that I full am. circle moment. So for folks who are interested in learning more about you and this event, where can they find you? Well, you can find me in any of the digital platforms as Ale Mor, that's A-L-E-M-O-R. And if you want to come and hang out with us and hear us sing for a little bit, it's on February 21st at 7 p.m. at the Wolfson Auditorium. Alemor, thank you so much. That concert's going to be so exciting. But that is it. That is all for today, at least. I'm your host, Gabrielle Arzola. Thanks so much for watching Inside South Florida.